Located in Scherding, Austria, EV Group manufactures wafer processing equipment targeted to the 3D integration, MEMS, and compound semiconductor markets. In 2011, the company experienced 40% growth and now dominates the market for wafer bonding. As a result, the company recently completed a facility expansion that nearly doubled the size of the existing facility. 3D Insights visited the new site and spoke with Werner Tonle and Markus Wimplinger to learn more about the expansion itself and the drivers behind this accelerated growth. Dr. Talner, what was the motivation for the expansion of EVG's facility? Well, the main motivation was um, the increased order intake uh, we had over the last couple of years, uh, mainly driven by 3D technologies. Um, certainly the commitment of our company to partner up with those uh, HVM customers all around the world um, to supply them with the tools in the lead time and the quality uh, they need. What decisions did you need to make to bring the facility to tier one qualifications for manufacturing? First of all, it's cleanliness requirements. Um, as a tier one supplier, uh, cleanliness standards are around 100,000 100, uh, class uh, clean room. That's what we have now in this new um, uh, manufacturing area. Um, we added an overhead crane to ease uh, the move uh, around of the tools. Uh, we integrated test rooms um, that can go down to one class 1000. Um, we separated basically the testing from the manufacturing. This is kind of addressing the security needs of our customers to re really split up technologies of different customers and not to enable them to see uh, what other customers are, are doing. Um, so we uh, improved a lot of things and certainly also um, did many things like um, moving platforms to really make it easier to, to build tools uh, which are basically mainly driven to drive down the cost of our tools um, to also be prepared uh, to the needs uh, of an HVM customer. It's very unusual that a company like us in the semiconductor industry is uh, still having the, the own machine shop and still manufacturing its own parts. We see it as a core competence to have uh, those capabilities because especially in our um, technology, the technologies that we are serving time to market is one of the most important things uh, that we're looking for. And for us it's very easy to have an idea the one day to manufacture the part overnight and to try it out the other day. This is only possible with having our own machine shop. And certainly uh, driven by the demand of our HVM customers, we increase the capacity in our machine shop. So have more capacity in-house now and besides um, increasing the capacity we also decided on um, purchasing new machines that are capable of manufacturing bigger parts specifically dedicated towards uh, taller wafer sizes than 300 millimeter which is currently standard but as everyone knows 450 um, will be the next industry standard and we are uh, prepared for that uh, from a manufacturing perspective. Marcus, if you could tell me the market drivers that have happened in the last 18 months that have helped fuel EVG's growth to reach 40% in 2011. But to put it in very simple words, uh, a main driver for us has been uh, really the adoption of smartphones and the new features that uh, smartphones uh, are implementing today, ranging from uh, MEMS uh, components uh, like uh, MEMS accelerometers, gyroscopes, uh, more advanced cameras, uh, so there uh, is basically a de facto standard to use uh, PEX illuminated image sensors for the main camera these days and wafer label optics uh, also for uh, flash lenses and uh, the VGA type uh, front facing camera um, and uh, silicon based microphones, MEMS based microphones. So all of those uh, rely on core technologies that EVG is providing in the area of wafer bonding, in the area of lithography. Uh, as well as inspection systems associated with the processes we provide and that has contributed to a large extent to our increase in, uh, in order intake. So with the introduction of the XT uh, frame platform last year we have now a platform that uh, has a, an equipment front-end module uh, that uh, also can have a local FOOP buffer and that enables us to do on one hand side true continuous mode operation so there are no idle times on the system anymore. Uh, the system also features faster robotics with uh, faster swap times at the modules uh, that improves the 
uh, usable throughput of the individual modules. And last but not least, also the uh, platform enables us to house more process modules. So we can hold up to nine process modules uh, and is quite flexible in uh, the way we be able to configure it. And uh, inside the module, uh, the, the system itself, uh, we have worked on improving the modules uh, for throughput, uh, also for precision in terms of uh, uniformities on the coating side as well as on, on the bonding side to uh, get improved TTV for the bonded wafer stacks. And then last but not least, we have also added new modules such as the inline metrology module, which enables us to inspect uh, the wafer for adhesive TTV. Uh, and thickness, as well as the, the carrier wafer, also for thickness and uh, TTV, and make a pass-fail decision already inside the temporary bonding system on whether the wafer would meet the specifications and can be passed on to back grinding, or whether it would be advisable to rework the wafer by debonding and rebonding it with the required quality. That way we can basically ensure 100% yield uh, on our temporary bonding system and not pass on any wafers to uh, back grinding, uh, which is a non-reworkable process step uh, and uh, have out-of-spec wafers at that step.